everybody doing today? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, we are going to look at today the new Peterbilt by Pinga. This is version 1, and this thing works 100% on version 1.37. All right, so here is what you start out with. I'm going to zip through these options real quick at the top um, just to show you. And this part will be uh, included in the free version that I will post to YouTube. And if you want additional details, which I will show you all uh, in the full version of this video, you will have to subscribe to my Patreon page, which there will be a link below for you to take a look at. All right, so again, this is the Pinga Peterbilt, and this is the first version. Here are the cabins. You get day cab. Day cab one, which if you notice up here, is more of a flat roof. Okay. You get a Mercury 53 inch. Mercury 63 inch. The Peterbilt 379 style. Uh, Peterbilt 379 style. 36 inch sleeper. Peterbilt 389 style. Uh, we're back to day cab. I'm the, I don't know what the difference is in that one. There it is. That's what I, I almost forgot about that. That is the uh, extended cab. Okay, you get uh, that looks like a 60 inch flat top and a 36 inch flat top. And then if you scroll back up to the top, there is one called Big. And of course, you would have to adjust the chassis to fit that. But those are your cabin options. Chassis options. Zip through these. Uh, this is a very long 6x2. Your standard 6x4. This mod currently does not come with a 6x4 short version, which I would like to see, and I hope we will get that in the next version. Get a 6x4 long, 6x4 even longer, 6x4 long lowered. This one's uh, six by four lowered, which is the same one um, up here before. Eight by two. Uh, this eight by two is a much longer frame, as you can see. Eight by two short, which will adjust those um, tanks if we build that model. Another eight by four here. 8 by 4 short, which I think these are, this one needs to have the second wheel added, or second tire added in there to be the actual 8 by 4. And then there's a dump chassis, which uh, there's a node in here to include to edit the dump, which I haven't played with yet. But um, those are your suspensions. Engines. This truck mod comes with the standard Creech Bomb 3.1 sounds and they are all working in 1.37 at least all the ones that I've tried I haven't tried every single one but uh, again you're gonna like I've said in the past reviews if you look at the Cummins 444 okay these two 444s are gonna sound exactly the same just because one is 444 horse and one is 520 horsepower, they're not going to sound any different. So I'll scroll through these pretty quick. You get Cummins, um, 8V92 Detroit's, another uh, 444, you get the 3406 in different horsepower, Detroit Diesel Series 60, Cummins M11, Cummins ISX 12, um, which will sound the same, I think, if I remember correctly, as the ISX-15. The sounds are the same, just the 
horsepower ratings and stuff are uh, changed. You get a Packard MX-13, your Caterpillar C-15, and I'm not even sure if I mentioned it, but you get the Caterpillar 3406E as well. And those are your engines. Transmissions. 10-speed, uh, 13-speed, 10-speed with retarder, 18-speed, 6-speed automatic, 13-speed with retarder, 7-speed automatic, 18-speed with retarder, uh, another 7-speed automatic by Allison, 18-speed uh, Eaton with retarder, and then there are some 10, 6, and 7 Allison automatics also, which I will not ever be trying but those are your transmissions cab interiors currently there is only one available and that is the ultra rod uh, I will tell you this a lot of these panels are customizable colored uh, they you know you can change the colors to anything you want and when you add a sleeper you will see that sleeper behind you such as this Let's go with the big one and take a look inside. And there you go. Paint jobs. Okay. Uh, there are literally a ton of them. Maybe not a ton. Maybe half a ton. But still, there's a lot of them. Uh, and all the colors work. Metallics. zip through them here quickly for you guys the free version some of these are labeled incorrectly but I think that's a language barrier issue um, and th those will be fixed I'm sure but I mean you get the point any of these colors to me are pointless because you always end up with the custom color and you can make it Whatever color you want but in any case metallics I already showed you the metallics work so those are your colors and in case you missed it I didn't mention there are a bunch of these rolling um, options as well that you can adjust to your liking accessories as you can see I have selected a paint job and a sleeper version and a chassis um, because this is what I'm gonna build as you saw in the intro I'm gonna try to come as close to that as I can because I built that truck already so I'm gonna try to just rebuild it and show you guys all the options but this is what you get uh, we'll come back and, and select some of these um, in the paid version all right if you are watching the free version on YouTube again you can get I will go over every single one of these options and show you what they do if you are a subscriber to my patreon page so look in the description and um, uh, click to sign up and join all right interior accessories so there are a bunch of customizations in here and again in the free version I'm just gonna let you take a quick look around but uh, in the paid version I will go over each of these and show you what they do uh, that is the interior of your uh, mercury sleeper back there alright so that is interior accessories all right, here comes the finished product. If you guys want to see how we got here, you'll definitely have to sign up on my Patreon page. Check it out. Do detailed reviews on paid mods so you know what you're getting beforehand. This is Pinga's new Peterbilt mod. If you guys enjoyed, please remember to like the video and subscribe to this channel. And again, 
If you want to see every single node on this truck going over, head on over to my Patreon page and sign up. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.